are live. Hey everybody, welcome into the at Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. I always say that at the beginning of every video, and um, you can tell I get tired of saying it because I start singing it. Um, today's Tuesday, yes? No, it's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. It is September 11th. Uh, today marks the anniversary of one of the greatest tragedies in our country. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that and thank all of our first responders who lost their lives that day. Those even that didn't, that saved other people's lives. Um, myself, 18 years ago, was in labor and I was watching everything unfold on the news as I was getting ready to bring a new life into the world and it was very surreal. I had a lot of guilt. Um, because it's kind of weird that you're having a baby and you're happy when all that's going on. Um, but there's like this phenomenon they talk about when a national tragedy happens, it triggers early labor in a lot of women. And they said a lot of women went into labor that day. And then my son was born on the 13th. So he wasn't born on 9-11. I was in labor for two full days because I was five weeks early before they just decided to go ahead and do the C-section. Um, so on Friday, which is Friday the 13th, my baby will be 18. Uh, so this is like a really bittersweet week for me, remembering 9-11. And my son's going to be an adult in two days. Two days, I'm going to be the mother of an adult. Whew, that's a lot. Anyways, guys, take a moment today just to remember um, the tragedy and thank someone who is a first responder who risks their lives every day for all of us Americans. And um, and then the only way to really truly fight terrorism and people who hate America is to keep on trucking on and doing what Americans do best and living our lives with all of our absolute wonderful freedoms we have, including capitalism and running our own businesses and being able to go to a thrift store and buy used clothes and sell them online. Um, there's some countries where the selling of used goods is illegal, believe it or not. So we do have a lot of freedoms afforded to us. So just, you know, always keep that in the back of your mind. But the best way you can get back at, I think, terrorism or anyone that wishes you ill will is to just live your best life and, and do everything you can to um, take advantage of all the freedoms that we do have. Um, let me say hi to some people in the chat. Bill and David are here. Yay. Holly and Sydney. Hello, hello, hello. Lucille. Um, there was an early, there was an early hello from Amy. So hi to you. Smart and Savvy Gal. Hi. Linda. Hello. Welcome in. Um, Illinois Picker. Sometimes if you, um, uncheck the bell and then recheck it again it kind of reboots the system to start notifying you when I go live again um yeah Pete it was definitely a day I'll never forget um hi Sheila welcome in and um Nick is here hey welcome in Nick um we were going to give it oh Bill you're talking about this so this is a Bill and David got married last weekend and I couldn't attend because I couldn't drive because of my migraines and I'm really sad. But they got married and they sent me a present. That's the kind of folks they are. Absolutely love Bill and David. Um, we actually have something for you at the meetup. If you guys haven't heard yet and you're anywhere in the Pittsburgh area, Ohio, Pittsburgh, anywhere in Pennsylvania and you feel like a drive September 28th Saturday 2 p.m. we are having a reseller meetup here I will be here Sydney the posh boss will be here Phil and David will be here their friend Danny um, there's a lot of folks going so if you're interested join our Facebook group link to join is in the description box and then go to the events in the group and you can RSVP there we're meeting up for lunch and from there people are probably gonna go out sourcing there's a lot of really good places to retail arbitrage in the same shopping center that I chose the restaurant. Um, there's Goodwills nearby. There's a Salvation Army. And we have the whole um, conference room for the day, for the afternoon, for lunch. But just make sure that you RSVP. 
I do have the room reserved, but the manager wants a final call that Thursday or Friday, just so he knows how many people are coming so he can have enough waitresses or wait staff for us. Uh, hi, Rhonda and Amelia. Welcome in. Stark Raven Wild, happy hump day to you as well. Northwest Purple Sparkles. Um, Jody's here. Hey, welcome in. Love back. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just can't believe that they sent me present on their wedding weekend, but, um, Bill and David are just really great people. You guys probably understand by now that I'm absolutely head over heels in love with both of them. They're just amazing people. Uh, congratulations again on your wedding, guys. Um, Illinois, just joined recently, looking forward to learning more from you. Thank you so much for subbing, by the way. We appreciate it. It does help the channel. Um... Do we offer free or charge shipping? It depends on the item. All of our first class items have free shipping on them. Uh, the majority of our priority items, anything that weighs over a pound has calculated shipping on it. And the exception to that is jeans or anything I can shove in a padded flat, I still offer free shipping on. I just build $8 into the price. Um, all right, I'm gonna open this you guys and then we can get into my haul. And if you can't tell, this is the first day I have been 1,000% headache free, free of any of the remaining um, complications from being severely dehydrated, and I feel fantastic. I feel like a human being again! Wee! <laughs> um, yeah, it's a psychology thing. Some people don't like free shipping. I, I mean, as far as sellers, I think buyers want it. I think buyers are trained to look for free shipping. You are absolutely correct about Amazon. We're competing with them. Um, people like free shipping. Oh, this is so funny. So the gift that Colleen and Sydney and I will be getting Bill and presenting to them, I had already planned on wrapping the neat day tissue paper instead of buying wrapping paper. And I'm like, they'll understand. <laughs> and they do the same. Uh, Sheila, thank you. Oh my gosh, it's a baby hippo. Always oh, cute. Oh my god, he's got a tail. Oh, he is. So oh, look at his little teeth. Oh my god, he's a little nerd hippo. He's so cute. And he's got a friend. Oh, his friend is neat. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Bill and David, they are so cute. I love them. Got a little derpy nerd hippo. I don't know. Is he a hippo? A hippie hippo? Is this a hippie hippo? Are you a hippie hippo? Yes, I do talk to my animals. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. Thank you guys, Bill and David. You guys are the absolute best. I love you both. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, I'll have to come up with names for them. I think I named the dancing poop Robert sent me. It's going to be Tony the Turd, because I like Tony Stark as well. So, Tony the Turd. And I'm thinking Hermione for the hippo I opened Sunday from Courtney. All right, let's get into the hall. It is a hippo. They're hippos. If we think they're hippos, they're hippos. They're hippos. Um, everyone should male star hippos. Keith loves them. <laughs> Keith, Keith is just upset because he's going to have to build or buy me another shelf, but that's okay. All right, so we went out Saturday, and we did not go out Sunday because we got so much stuff on Saturday. We're trying to hit the yard sales as much as we can as we go into September because in Pittsburgh it's going to be cold in less than a month. It's going to be freezing. I'm going to run out of H names, I know, right? Um, so we're trying to hit as many as we can and we found one on the, and if you guys don't have this app, you need it. I know we're almost out of yard sale season, but you need the yard sale treasure map app. It's available for Android and iPhone. It pulls yard sales, estate sales, church sales, rummage sales, all kinds of sales from all different kinds of publications like Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, the newspaper, 
puts them in one convenient location for you on a map of you where you actually are with little red dots and you can plan out your day. So we found one that said it was a huge community yard sale. Our favorite kind of yard sales are the neighborhood sales or the community sales, anything where a lot of houses are participating. It's worth the drive. Um, you can see more than one house at a time or whatever. So we get there and it actually was more like a flea market. And you guys know we don't really have flea markets here. We have pop-up flea markets. There's one right up the road that pops up. There's a couple others that are close by, but they just kind of pop up once or twice a summer. And most of the people there, I think they're like couponers because they'll have tables full of 20 of the same shampoo and 50 of the same soap and 30 of the same toothpaste. So they're never really that exciting. Um, but we got to this community sale and it was in a park. They had this whole park cordoned off. They had music playing, they had food. It's really cool. And it looked like the whole community was there. And it was like a miniature flea market that just popped up at the park that day. And it took us about an hour to walk the whole thing. So it was pretty decent. There was a lot of stuff. Um, and then in route on the way home, we checked the app. There was one more neighborhood sale on the way home. So of course, it was on the way home, we stopped. Um, that one was pretty good too. It was an actual neighborhood sale where you had to park and walk to a couple houses and then move the car, park and walk. But there were about 20, 25 houses in that neighborhood participating and they had some really good stuff. They had a couple houses where it was fill a bag, which is always exciting. Um, so we spent $80 in total on Saturday. Now 14 of that was on fill a bags which I will be back on Friday to show you guys. Um, so I'll have another live haul Friday for you with all of the clothing and um, the shoes that we got for the fill -a bags I do have two pairs of shoes I found at the flea market. I'm going to show you today. Um, so we spent $14 in total on the fill -a bags and got a ton of stuff, including a very exciting concert t-shirt, but you'll see that Friday. So we spent 60 Wait, we got... I got I can't math yes 14 on the bags so $66 was spent elsewhere on hard goods plush other things that we found at the flea market and the neighborhood sale and that's what I'm going to show you today so everything you're going to see today cost $66 total and I'm so excited um, because for us where we live in this na in this area to have a little flea market like that and to find this many items that are unique and awesome for cheap because a lot of times here at yard sales or neighborhood sales people want eBay prices for stuff these people just want to rid of their crap and it was priced to go so um, if I remember individual prices on some of these items I'll probably tell you what it cost individually but we're just kind of looking at the whole day as $80 for everything and we're gonna count all the items and figure out per piece so we can do our bookkeeping um, I'm looking where I want to start let's start with what's on the table I got two of these hurricane glasses they are Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville from Grand Turk so any of these glasses like this Hard Rock Cafe um, what's the other one I'm missing? Rainforest Cafe, the Margaritaville, any of these restaurants that are popular, if you find the glasses, they're definitely a bolo, very long tail. Be willing to sit on these for like a year. Sometimes they go faster. Um, but especially these ones from out of the country, Grand Turk, Paris, um, stuff like that. That's what you want to look for. Hey Dan, welcome in. Pop Rocket, hi. So this, they actually wrapped for me. Um, I always tell them not to bother because I keep, I keep bags and paper and boxes and stuff in the trunk of our car when we go out so we can repackage and um, wrap ourselves. And I save, you know, people, they can save their newspaper for the next person. So this one was clearly marked, so you can see what I paid for this individually. Look! 
Oh my god. It is a popple. Um, 1986. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, and if you want to know a cool trick about taking, I don't have one to demonstrate, but if you have glasses like this or shot glasses where you can see kind of like the back graphic here when you're photographing, if you take just a regular white paper towel and roll it like in a tube and stick it down in the glass, you can take your photos like that and it'll showcase each side for your photos. So I did get a popple glass. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, we have a place here called Aldi's and you could take in your own bags and boxes there too. Um, yes, very good point, Illinois Picker. If it's if it's unique especially but there's a buyer for everything but keep in mind it's long tail so if you're new to reselling and you find something you think is great and will sell it probably will but you can't be impatient a lot of cases you're waiting for the right per I'm gonna have to wait for the one adult in the whole world that either wants a blue popple glass or has the other three in the set and has been looking for this one maybe they broke this one and they need to replace it it takes time so there is a buyer for everything. There's a collector for everything. There's somebody out there looking for everything that you have, but sometimes it can be very, very long tail. So just keep that in mind. Thrifty Chicka sold her first plush. Congratulations. It gets addicting. Um, I live right by Aldi. Yeah, Aldi's pretty cool. They just remodeled the one up the road from us. I'll have to take Sydney. If you're still here, I'm taking you to Aldi while you're here. All right, so this is Donald Duck 3D coffee mug. And this side's not, but this side is lifted 3D. Has words on it like short tempered, positive, loud, funny. But here's the exciting part it's at Disney Parks. But remember how I said to look for stuff out of the country? So I believe this is from a Disney park outside of the country. I will have to look it up. But either way, Disney park coffee mug, of course. Yes, I will be taking Sydney to Sheets, Wahlburger, Burgatory, and quite possibly one of our Mexican food places that is local. It's really good. We're going to be fat, Sydney. You're going to have to roll us out of places. All right. Swing into action with Mickey. Just push the chimney and watch the fun begin as Mickey swings into the ball and pops out a gumball. New in box. Guys, Q4 is coming up. You find stuff new in the box like this, pick it up. I believe individually this may have been three bucks. Um, and actually, the, this was at the flea market. And the little stand where I got this, I got a ton of Disney stuff that you're going to see. I got tons of it. Donald came from another place. But it was the cutest little old couple. And when I picked this up, the gentleman came over and said, do you like Disney? And I said, yeah. And he said, well, we're snowbirds. And him and his wife have a house that's like 10 minutes from Disney World in Florida. And so they buy all this Disney stuff. When they find it out there, they bring it to PA and resell it to make money. Very smart. And he said he has one of these that he took out of the box, and his grandkids love it. Um, so we talked a lot about how much I love Disney. I admitted to them I was a reseller as well. And they kind of cut us a really good deal on a bunch of Disney stuff. Because I sat and talked to the guy. And I said, hey, I buy stuff and resell it too. Um, and he was really nice about it. And just goes to show you, sometimes if you can just strike up a conversation and be friendly with people. Um, and... If they admit they're a reseller and you admit you're one too, they'll cut you a deal, right? How are I selling any of this? Um, because I like money. I don't know. There's a lot that comes through here that I would keep. And if I kept everything I wanted to keep, we wouldn't have a business and we would be living under a bridge. Um, so I try to limit it to really special, 
Harley Quinn horror movie stuff. I did buy myself something this weekend, which you will see when I dig it out. Um. Amazon question. I'm not that up to up to par on Amazon, but I'll try. Do you sell new shoes on Amazon? I do not. But from what I understand from Casey, he does. From what I understand from Casey, you must have the box, and they cannot have any defects at all. Even if they're brand new out of the factory, um, if they have any kind of defects, you have to sell them on eBay. Um, I'm pretty sure they have to have the box, too. As far as I know, anyone else out there that sells on Amazon, you can chime in. I just know I had a conversation with Casey about new shoes on Amazon, because I had an opportunity to get an auction at one point. Um, but Keith handles our Amazon, so anyone else that can answer that? Hey, Virginia, welcome in. All right, so let's look at this. Oh, and let's get this stuff off before it falls out. We got, this came from the Disney place. Um, it says a dollar on it, but like I said, um, we bought a lot from those, from that couple, a lot, and they just kind of gave us a deal on all of it. Um... This is a risk. It's a radio. Weather. It's a weather radio. Excuse me. Dan. Dan, are you the one that just bought a bunch of the weather radios and showed it off in one of the Facebook groups? And it was a definite bolo, right? Um, I had just seen Dan's post about that. Sony is always a good brand. We figured for a buck we'd risk it. And at the end of the day, we probably only paid 50 cents by the time they cut us a deal on everything. But I believe that was Dan, right? I'm just going to break all my brand new stuff. I need more room. I need 12 eBay rooms. All right. I'm going to do some plush. Before this falls. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Oh, no. All right. We're going to do a couple of plushies. If I can get that up there. There we go. These are a bolo, you guys. These are Keel toys. And you will typically find, I had a couple of Paris Bears. I've had different kinds of the British Guard like this. Santa White. Anyway, these Keel toys, these bears that are from like different countries and costumes, these are definite below if you find them. Alright. I got a Happy Bunny. You guys remember the Happy Bunnies? He's got posable ears. sold something on Poshmark. One of the pairs of dance go shoes already sold. $30 profit. I'm excited. Okay, anyway. This says, I'm not spoiled. I deserve all my stuff. And he may not be going into the store. He may be a gift for certain somebody. Because I think it fits their personality. Um, and I'm not saying names because it's supposed to be a surprise. Okay, look at this guy. This is Disney. Yeah, I used to like the Happy Bunny stationery. Um, I had the planners and the notebooks. You guys know me. I want to say that I honestly don't know where the hell this cat's from. He's dirty, too. See him? But since he doesn't have any hang tags... Um, I don't know. Usually I would spray that and spot clean it, but because I think he's okay. I'll spray that and it'll sit overnight and then it'll go for the wash and air dry. I think I'll just give him a good wash. Um, anybody know where he's from? It's not the Pinocchio cat, is it? No. He's mean. He's mean looking, whoever he is. He's a villain. I just can't remember where he's from. Um... I got a blue and white Snoopy that says Happy Easter, official peanuts. I got a squirt from Finding Nemo. Still got its hang tags and everything. It's really good shape. I sold one of these before without hang tags that had damage for like 14 or 15. So, um... 
I'm sure he comps for a lot less, but I'm nuts. I like to price things high. Cinderella, yes. Thank you, Virginia. So this falls under the category of a rare villain. That's hard to find, so that's a good find. I have a cute little Godzilla. I'm trying to see the brand. Funny is the brand. But he's super cute, isn't he? He's a little Godzilla. And this, I don't know, I just took a risk. Peekaboo Toys is like a cheaper toy. It's like what you find in claw machines. But this was too cute not to get. It's a little unicorn blush. Its horn is an upside down ice cream cone. And then it has like the sprinkles from ice cream all over his little body. So I risked that. And I just sold one of these the other day. This is a Gans, Gans, how do you say it? I say Gans. Gans Webkin, Pink Dragon, no code. I believe the last one went for like 12 or 14. Got another Walt Disney World. Now this one actually is also a Disney Parks. Needs a little bit of cleaning up, but this is a nice mug. It's real heavy. It's got um, a sticker on it, so that would have been its original price. But like I said, we're gonna. It's fifty cents. We're gonna average it all out for the day. I got an Affliction baseball cap. Um, no, the Gans has plush that's not Webkin's. And I, you know, a couple years ago, Affliction was still a thing. Um, if you guys don't know what Affliction is, it looks like that. It always has crosses, big graphics. The T-shirts are usually purposely ripped, distressed, destroyed. Um, when we first started, they were worth a lot of money. Um, I haven't found Affliction anything in a long time, so I'm not sure, but it was worth the risk. And a, um, how can I brain fart? I live here. This is a Steelers hat. They're a football team. I know that much. <laughs> and then, um, this bag is heavy on its own, but it's got a book in it. Um, you guys will know why I wanted that. I've read most of his books, listened to his audio tapes. I, I follow the Dave Ramsey way. I tell everyone that watches me, you should also. Um, it's missing his jacket, the book jacket, but I don't care. Um, Keith and I are debating on this. We may list this in the store, depending on what it comps at. But, because I always tell all my viewers that they should be following Dave Ramsey, I may give this away in a giveaway when we reach 5,000 subscribers. Um, just to kind of help somebody get started on their, their financial journey. This is an, um, Vince Kamuda. Is that a good brand? I don't know. If it is, then you know, let me know. Can you see it? Vince Camuto. I picked it up because this is vegan leather. And it was 50 cents on its own. So, um, 50 cents for a vegan leather, really nice handbag, bag, laptop bag, whatever you want to call it. It's just one big empty no, it's not. It's got pockets in there. It's got one pocket. So, I risked it because of what it is. Um, I will sometimes pick up, like, no-name handbags if they're 100% leather or something that's, like, got a really great graphic or it's really unique. If you look in my posh closet, I have beach bags that are made out of straw and they're woven, like, mac mac macrame. They have no brand. Um, 
And I'll pick up like Disney bags and stuff like that. Flooring contractor here. Well, welcome in, Shelly. And by the way, everyone, help have help me say congratulations to Shelly. She is a proud grandma of a new baby girl who was born yesterday and is adorable. Congratulations, Grandma. It's eh. Well, you know, for 50 cents or whatever all this average is out to. It's worth it to me. Um, look at these. You can see the original price on them. These are four I Love Lucy tumblers. And fourth quarter is coming. So this is a perfect thing to put in the store. New in the box, never opened. I'll have to take the raw sticker off. Because clearly I want more than $8 for it. But I thought that was super duper cool. Alright. You guys want to know how nuts I am? First of all, I forgot how many of these there are. So we're going to open it. Alright, so originally there were 12 pieces, and I have one box here that's full, that has all 12, and then there's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There are 17 of these. They are all still in their bag. I have one out of its bag because I need to take a photo. Of, I'm just going to take a photo of one of them make one listing and make the available quantity 17 um, but I can list them as new because they're all in their little packs so they're all exactly identical they're the same thing it looks like a wholesale bulk purchase somebody got rid of their yard sale um, she gave me all 17 for two dollars anyway it's a Christmas tree ornament Disney Cruise Line. I want that to focus so you can see it. So it is Disney Cruise Line. It is Mickey dressed up as a ship captain. And it's a Christmas tree ornament. One photo or one set of photo. Photograph one item, one listing, 17 available. We're going into Q4. They are all in their brand, brand new packages, so they will be listed as new. Everybody's looking for Christmas tree ornaments and gifts. Um, I was really excited about those. I mean, even worst case scenario, I would comp them. If they go for 12 bucks a piece, I don't care. I got 17 of them. Um, I'm hoping more for 2025, which is probably what I'll do. I'll have to comp and see how many turns there are and race into the bottom on it first. And I have another bag over here. This you'll see Friday. It's the concert t-shirt I alluded to at the beginning of the video. It is already listed. Um, so it's this is how we store stuff in our system, by the way. <laughs> All right. There it is. So there's three of these guys. I'm going to sell them as a lot. I have, in the past, already sold... Bunga, but I've never had a bunga like this. He's got his hang tag. He's in perfect condition. I will probably list these as new, which I very rarely do. Um, having its original hang tags does not necessarily make a plush new. You have to be careful with that. Um, just because it has the tag does not mean it's new, but these are in pristine, amazing excellent beautiful condition i mean they are perfect there's not even scratches on the eyes or anything so these will be listed as brand new i've sold uh kion kion i, I don't know how i say it i've sold him before uh without this with matted messed up hair and damage i've sold him without this nice i've had him before i have never had Fooly, who is so cute. Look at her eyes. Fooly's wearing eyeliner. Isn't she cute? 
So these are all from The Lion Guard, the Disney show. So I will put the three together as a lot, and I will list them as new, and hopefully they move in Q4. So you know how sometimes you've never found something before, and then you find a bunch of it, and then you keep finding it, but you've never seen it before in years and years? You guys know I recently brought home the lot of shoes. If you did not watch last week's live haul, you should. I got 21 pairs of shoes for 100 bucks. So I was very proud of myself. A lot of them were dance goes. Um, I'll have that pop up at the end in case you're watching the replay. But listen, I've never seen dance goes before. And I found that lot at the yard sale last week. Found these at the flea market. The lady took $10 for both pair. I asked her what she wanted. She said, make me an offer. I think $5 a pair for dance goes is pretty decent. These are in good condition, too. I mean, they have slight wear on them, but not much. And they're super cute. They got, like, etchings and stuff. So I got those clogs and then these sandal slingback patent leather. Um... I don't know. I would not call these Mary Janes, I don't think. But maybe. Maybe I'll call them Mary Janes. Sling back. Um, they're definitely patent leather. They're definitely cute. So, um, I started listing the dance code yesterday. I got them all photographed last week. Um, like, I, I'm working really slow. I'm trying to get back in my routines. And last week was really rough on me. But, um, I did get all the photographs taken. And yesterday, I, I listed all the dance goes. I already sold a pair on Poshmark. Um, so, they're pretty good shoes, I guess. <laughs> so, I got two more. Very excited about those. Who puts these things in these bags? Keith. I just don't want anything to fall. Here's some more of the Disney stuff. But I can't get it out because of this box. Give me a second. Oh, it's so frustrating when you're live and you can't get something out. A framed print of Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. Christopher Robin de Pooh. has this Macy's box with tissue paper. I probably will not ship it with that. And stuff's falling, of course. So, Dora the Explorer. The live action film, is it already out? I don't know if it's already out, um, but it's coming out soon. We will soon see uh, Dora the Explorer live action in theaters. So here's her backpack, backpack. Official Dora. Not only is this the backpack, it also has the map. It has the map from the show. Isn't this cute? Um, I'm trying to find the Velcro. There it is. So it has the map, the little face, and then it also came with three books inside, which I'll just include. Um, I would never source these, really. The backpack's cool, but if I can include these, you know, just toss them in basically for free, give them a bonus. This is a pop-up book. You guys remember those? I loved pop-up books when I was a kid. They were like my favorite kind of book. Because there was always something to discover, something to see. Um, yeah, I loved them. My second favorite was Choose Your Own Adventure. Or I should say pop-up books were my favorite until I got a little bit older. And then I loved the Choose Your Own Adventures. But I am so OCD. I would have little notebooks that I would keep track of every choice I ever made in the Choose Your Own Adventures. And I would keep rereading it. 
until I had made every decision you could possibly make in the book. And I kept track in a notebook. Nerd. Nerd. So this is Dora's Rainbow Egg Hunt. Eggs for everyone. And Crystal Kingdom Adventures. Backpack has eyebrows. Did you know that? I forgot about that. It's been a long time since my kids were little. Again, I will have an adult in two days. All right, something for downhill. I got a Winnie the Pooh picture frame. 3D. See them? They pop out. So cute. And it still has the original hoo-ha in there. The the thing that comes inside the frame when you buy it. So once I clean this up, if it has actually no damage on it or whatever, I'll probably list it as new. And... Haha, <laughs> I got this little guy. Isn't he cute? They basically threw him in for free. This came from the stall where the older couple was that I got all the stuff from. Um, it's Winnie the Pooh wrapped up like a present. Zoom Zoom. He's a little pill bug. I love Zoom Zooms. They remind me of pill bugs. I think Zoom Zooms are so cute. Little fat faces. He's got his nice tag and everything. He's in excellent, amazing, perfect condition. He will probably be listed as new. Got another new in box. Mickey and Minnie on a sled. They are plush. The sled is plastic. There's fake snow down in there. Can you see it? I think it doesn't work anymore when you push it. Oh, it does. So that is super cute, new in the box. Um, I'm going to take that off or mark it out with a black marker before I list it or before I photograph it because I'm going to want more than that for it. They wanted five. I think they ended up giving it to me for like three. Um, like I said, they I got a lot of Disney stuff from the one stall. I made friends with the guy, so I got a lot of stuff. Um... There's four of these. I'm, I don't even know if I paid attention if they're all the same or not. So I'll open them all with you guys. But there's four of these. Um, the globes themselves, the snow globes, are in amazingly perfect condition. The boxes are, you know, they show a little bit of wear and tear and cosmetic damage to them. Which I'll just disclose. They're all different. They all have their little doodads, their little styrofoam thingies. Okay, I have two the same. I like when I get the same kind of thing over and over, like those Caribbean Cruise Mickeys, because I can make one listing and have two available. It's Mickey inside a present. And there's one more of these. Okay, so this one's different. This is Minnie in a green present. And then this is Mickey in a sleigh and it has 2003. They're all Disney. I hope somewhere, somewhere somebody had something important happen to them in 2003. I want my Mickey. I'm not seeing the thing I bought for myself. Which, it's gotta be here, right? Alright, this is a fun story. So, you guys know that as early as yesterday, Again, in my What Sold video, 
I'm telling you guys, when you find things for nativity scenes or Christmas villages, grab them. So this is a clock. I'm sorry, I was seeing what the switch does. The switch turns the clock on. It's really heavy. It's about probably a pound. Anyway, it's a clock for a Christmas village. two more. This is the last of the items I do have to show you guys. So if you have questions now, I'll open up the floor. Please send them along. Send them along. Put your questions in the comments and I'll get to you five times. How about that? I now have styrofoam snow all over my house. This one is a lighthouse. It plugs in comes with a styrofoam and it's original box. Um, I will actually turn my photo photo lights off, plug it in, and take a light of it lit up for the main photo, which is what I always do with things like this. So there's that one. And this last one is really cute. So this is for a Christmas village as well. Two kids on swings. So, the fun part about this is, this lady had these little Christmas, I don't even know where I put this stuff. Um, she had these villages, these two, three pieces for the Christmas villages out. And um, I asked about the two that came with the original box and styrofoam. And she said she would take five for both. And I said, well, what if I add this one? My question was worded exactly that way. Well, what if I add this one in? I want that one too. Assuming she'd go up another five bucks or whatever. And she said, okay. So she literally just gave me all three for five bucks. Um... Again, we'll figure out each item's price according to how many items we got divided by the $66 that we spent. But it was really cool. This was the first stall that we came to when we got into the little park where they had the flea market. And the first thing I laid eyes on was these three pieces for the Christmas village. Q4 is coming and Chris, people love their Christmas villages. These things are super popular. Um, but when she said five for the two and I'm like, well, what if I add this one? I meant for her to raise the price, and she just, okay. So I got all three. Um, looking for a place to put this one down. But I wanted to show you something on the box. Do any of you remember Ames? Because it's been gone for so long, I don't even remember it. But apparently, according to Keith, and it could just be a Pittsburgh thing. And that may be why I've never heard of it, because I was born and raised in Arizona. Keith grew up here. According to him, Ames was a department store that was really popular that his grandmother used to frequent when he was very, very small. Like, his memories of it, he said, are like being a toddler and going there with his grandmother. Um, and it hasn't been around forever. So I'm pretty sure these are super old. They may even be vintage. I mean, Keith is 30, so he is vintage. <laughs> so if it was something he saw in his youth, if that store was around, I'm pretty sure that these are super old. Um, yeah, I definitely flocked right to these. They were, they were just out there. Um, so we will see. And last, that's a great haul. You ran out of room. Yeah. Um, that is all of the hard goods. So we spent $66 and got all of these hard goods that you saw today. And then Friday I'll be back with the clothing and some more shoes that were part of the $14 we spent on fill bags at yard sales. Um, I don't even know what Bradley's is. Here's the one thing Star bought for herself. Because once in a while, I find something that I cannot sell. Like Sydney said earlier, 
how do you sell some things you find you cannot sell? And those of you that will know me, that know me will know why. I'm just going to slide it on by and let you guys take a peek. That is um, Freddy Krueger. Jason's mom's head. Jason. That's Pamela Voorhees, by the way. Nerd. Pamela Voorhees' head. Jason Voorhees. We have the guy from Scream. We have Chucky. And we have Michael Myers. And there's a lot going on in the background. If you take a real good look at what they've got, what they're drinking, what they're holding. It was five dollars. It's a wallet! And I just recently purchased myself a new purse. Um, I don't know if all of you are aware, but I did win a hundred dollar gift card at eBay Open from the ladies at Sellhound. I entered something, I never won anything, but I won. I won a hundred dollar gift card um, for eBay, and one of the things I got myself was I was lucky, I was the only bidder on an auction, and I won a Doctor Who TARDIS crossbody purse. Um, I think with shipping and everything, it was like $18. It's worth a lot more than that. So I did get myself a new Doctor Who TARDIS crossbody bag. It's really cute. I haven't switched over to it yet because the purse that I currently use has a built-in wallet. Like it has a whole zipper compartment that has slots for credit cards, place for money. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about, the purses with the built-in wallets. And I don't have a wallet because for the last 15 years, I've basically had the same purse. I use it till it falls apart and then I buy another one, the same exact purse. Again, I've had it in black and purple. Um, but I've been buying the same purse for like 15 years, so I don't have a wallet. But I got that TARDIS purse and I really want to switch over to it. And I didn't have a wallet and now I have a wallet. So now I have a TARDIS purse with my horror movie wallet. I'm so excited. This is going to get cleaned up tonight and I'm going to be switching purses because I'm a dork. This has a nice place for your bills and your coins and this will never get sold. This is mine. You can for me because I like horror movies. All right, guys. I uh, really didn't need a story about my uh, purse at the end there, but hey, sometimes you guys got to hear little stories about me to know that I'm also a human being. I am not just a reseller there. You know, none of us are just resellers. Reseller is a lifestyle. I will say that. This is the only job I've ever had that isn't just a job. It's a lifestyle because you can be out driving, not outsourcing, fully intending to go to the grocery store. You see a yard sale, you stop. I mean, we're like always sourcing in our heads. I can't go to Walmart to get makeup or hamster food without, oh boy, this would be good for retail arbitrage. It is a lifestyle. Reselling is definitely a lifestyle, but there's more to all of us than that. We are, we all have a lot of facets. And um, I guess I just sometimes share little tidbits with you guys so you know that I'm human too. I'm a huge dork. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So I will be back Friday with the rest of the haul. Tomorrow, I know I said I was going to do it last week, but I didn't get to it because I wasn't feeling well. Tomorrow, I am putting out what sold on Poshmark in August video. And... I don't know what I'm doing this weekend yet, but we'll come up with something. So, um, Bill says, amen, sister. So, yeah, I'm going to have a new person, a new wallet at the meetup. If you see it, you know, it's something I really enjoy. So, um, I, oh, that's what I wanted to say. When you guys are outsourcing, um, this is a lifestyle, and it is all-encompassing, and it is not a 40-hour week job. It is not an eight-hour-a-day job. This is... You know, you're running your own business in, in and of itself, whether you're a reseller or not. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're starting a new business, if you're a business owner, it's not a 40-hour week job. It's a lifestyle. Just don't forget that you're a person, too. So look for yourself, too. Treat yourself once in a while. Look for things for you that you like. If you like Mickey Mouse, pick something up for yourself once in a while and keep it for yourself. Um, if you like sports, keep a Pittsburgh shirt once in a while or whatever. Just don't forget 
that you you need nurtured as much as your business needs nurtured and don't forget to give yourself self-care and self-love treat yourself once in a while rest when you need it go to the doctor before your migraine is so bad that you're severely hydrated don't be me um and thank you guys i want to thank you so much for joining me today the group the facebook group is well over 1500 members by now you guys are amazing if you haven't joined please do link is in the box we're closing in on 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is also super cool. So, I mean, we're getting close. So if you have, you know, friends that are resellers, anyone that wants to learn about Plush, Poshmark, eBay, sourcing, anything that I teach on this channel, uh, feel free to share the channel with your friends and help us grow. Our goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're going to have a big celebration and a giveaway. Um, and we can't do it without you guys. So do know that you are appreciated. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me today. You guys are fabulous. You're the absolute best. Hit the thumbs up before you leave. It helps the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Please help us feed all our hungry hippos. Share us with your friends. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Flippin' Hippos everywhere. Thank you again, guys, for hanging out with me today. And go be productive. Go make some money. Q4 is less than three weeks away. So let's all get to cramming and prepping for Q4. Love you guys. You guys are the best. Bye.